I'm Ursula Williams and my job title, well, I'm general fat totem doing what nobody else wants to do and some, from time to time exhibition organiser. So we began in uh, Baseford, we're an old Nottinghamshire um, company and we began as a combination of carpenter and undertaker which was very common in the, at the time, this is about the 1860s, whereby carpenters uh, ran a little sideline of undertaking because it was quick and easy for them to knock up a coffin for customers. But all the way through the 1990s, this is really going back in foreign history, um, we did get more and more requests for personalised and customised coffins, particularly painted coffins. So it began with that and then gradually uh, somebody asked us to do a finish off a project they'd begun themselves and got stuck with, which was a Red Arrows airplane. That got featured in, I think it was The Sun, and after that, members of the public have been slowly and gradually ringing us up and asking for different things. It is surprising the reactions people have. It tend, children love them and rampage all over them. So when we took them to the South Bank, we were really surprised that there was no effort at curating and children with sticky fingers would you know, finger everything, clamber inside everything. One of them snapped the steering wheel off the Rolls Royce, you know, there were footprints all over everything. Uh, they had a rough time there and people, children were even wheeling the airplane along, you know, so they just regarded it as a giant playground and I don't think there were any curators, there certainly, uh, nobody was keeping them off. And I remember when we went down there with the people who owned the coffins, they became really protective. One, one of them sat on his coffin and glared at anyone who came near because they, they just weren't quite ready for this um, physical reaction people have to them. Even grown-ups were queuing to get inside the cork to be photographed. So they, it was amazing the um, interaction people seem to want to have with them, but they do, they want to sort of clamber all over them, get into them and climb in and out and be photographed. People don't want to exhibit coffins unless they have a reason. So we are lucky, we do get invited. Our most prestigious invitation last year was um, to the South Bank in London and we exhibited in the Royal Festival Hall for about 10 days along with some Ghanaian coffins by a famous Ghanaian um, sculptor. Some of our customers like to see it at every stage of its production. So just at the moment we're doing a Jack Daniels whiskey bottle and the chap we're making it for works in Afghanistan and he's been really keen to see you know, stages of its production so every every evening photographs are taken and they're posted on the Facebook page and if nothing's done on his coffin for a week or two he complains and says you know what, you know, what are you doing pick up the tools again nothing's happening uh, so some people really do see it at every point lots of the customers of Crazy Coffins are actually involved in it too as much as they do the research for it so they really do supervisors and we have one chap who had a train carriage made from the Orient Express on which he used to love going on holiday and he was very fussy about what it was upholstered in so he went off contacted the Orient Express people got from them the fabric that they do their upholstery in and we had he brought the very fabric into the factory and we had to upholster it with the, with the buttoning and everything correct that the train carriages um, do so on the whole the crazy cost if the uh, customers are alive and well then they really are involved in the making of their coffin uh, so they are usually pretty, they're not usually surprised by the time they come to the end because they've been part of it um, and of course for the ones who sadly already departed then their relatives do sometimes contact us afterwards and say that it lifted the whole funeral for them the one that's asked for most often in an exhibition is that skip which probably would take about mm, an hour an hour and a half to make it's really easy it's just sort of straight lines and straight planes. We've done some urns to match coffins so they get a crazy coffin and a crazy urn if it's been for a cremation. Quite a few urns come in independently for example we do we do lorries quite often for lorry drivers so we did a, you know, a Sainsbury's delivery van I think uh, some time ago. We quite often are asked by people is it in good taste or is it in bad taste and we don't really mind which it is we we simply do what we're asked to do, you know, to the best uh, the best that we can do it, and people do seem to find it fun, and it does it does take away from the grimness of a funeral. <laughs>